You know what's going on. What's up, yo? What's up, man? What's up? Yeah, man. So, man, you know the reason behind me going to detention was the whole thing started out by you know, me and this dude, you know, seventh grade, you know, going back and forth, and we ended up, you know, scuffling, you know, throwing hands. He got injured, you know, at the end of the situation. You know, police got called, and so from there on out, I was on probation for like like three years. From me at like fourteen. So, yeah, 14, yeah, as well. But uh, shit, after that, I was just, you know, being a knucklehead, not really paying attention, not listening to my mom, man. You know, so she put me in detention for about like a solid three, two and a half months, you feel me? It was, it was smooth in there, man, it was smooth in there, you feel me? Can't really complain, you know, definitely stood on all 10, you know, hit my push ups, you know how it go. <laughs> hey, man, I used to take the matches, it's like a little. Like an army bed, man, it was blue. I used to take it and put it, I couldn't sleep. Uh, their schedule was different. I would just used to stay up, you know, they had a specific schedule. So when the lights went out, I'd take the little blue mat, put it up to the wall, and I'd just start like, like boxing, you feel me? You know, getting my hands together just in case. And then got a scuffle up in there, you feel me? Yeah, it was wild. Hey, man, <laughs> it was one time where I was in the gym, and this dude was just talking mad stuff, man. And I took a basketball, you feel me? It was just, it was crazy. I took a basketball when I launched it, and it made him dead in his mouth, man. It's a funny story, man. I used to take people's songs, I used to write them out. Like, people that was already famous, I used to write up their songs. I was in the eighth grade, you feel me? And I'd rewrite it and then try to, like, Rap it, you feel me? Now it's simple to write a song. Now it happened like that. Don't let me be in the mood, like be in the rhythm of it too. It's a rap, it's getting done within like a solid song, you know, hook, you know, verses, all that. Everything finished within like 10 minutes if I'm feeling it. Yeah, man, writing music is definitely a lifestyle. Now at this point, I didn't put so many hours into it. It's like a habit just to do it, you feel me? Like, you know, start tapping on something, you know, start humming, you know, just think of something, you know build off of that, for real. I wouldn't say I write music for a purpose. You know, I just, for my company, it's just high quality music. I ain't trying to have no movement or nothing like that. You know, it's just, yeah, I like to write music that people can feel good to, feel the emotion, turn up to, you know. Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna go too deep into that, you know, I don't, I don't really commit crimes, you know. I'm a good citizen, you feel me, the public. Yeah, that's childish behavior now, you feel me, huh? Yeah, for sure. Man, I started handling business when I was like 17, for real, you know. That's when I walked into that door, you know, jumped into that pool, you know. But I've always been a creative individual, whether it was building something, writing, poem, I've always used my mind more than entertain the, the outside world from me, so introverted for real. But I'm also able to step out into a crowd and uh, definitely get the smiles on people's faces. We all take in information every single day, a whole bunch of it. I'd rather just be specific on the information that I take in and make sure it's aligned with what I want to do. So I'm growing 24-7. Yeah, oh shit, damn. Yes, yes. I do record my own stuff. I got my own equipment. You feel me? Got my own little camera, you know, tripod, microphone, you know. I do record my own movies, music videos, and shorts, for sure. What's the difference between me and the majority? That's a very strong question. But I'd say the difference, hey, that's a real good question. All I can really say is I try my best and I put my all into what I do. I can't really speak for nobody else. I'm gonna always be resilient in every situation. You know, a lot of people give up after they fail you know, one time, you know, you to learn and then get it to where it always works. You gotta fail. Catch the loose screws. 
Twenty. That's a good way to put it. When it comes to progress, really just put my all into every day, you know, setting tasks, completing it, punching that bag every day. Definitely put $700,000 up just so I can work with $300,000 and see and learn off of that. Fail off the first 300, use the other 700,000 correctly. I'd stumble with the 300,000, you know, pass money around the table and learn off of that $300,000. Pay my taxes. I don't want the IRS coming after me. I mean, I need all my cheeks, all of this. After reflecting, on how I utilize the first $300,000. I take $500,000 and use it correctly. Correct my mistakes from what I did up with the $300,000. Just enjoy life, you know what I'm doing right now. Enjoying every moment, you me? I take time to, you know, go to my city, you know, go to a football game, basketball game, pass, throw money in the air, you know. Hey man, I donate some money, you know what it is, you know, definitely donate some money. Definitely keep something to say. Definitely, you must have. You already know, man. Keep them pistols around me for sure. Definitely. Grab me a few little handy manny tools. Gotta get my mom a honey cake. Definitely let her handle her business, you know. Really just learn, man. You know, just learn, you know. Handle business. What I've been doing, you know. Learn from my mistakes. And once my mistakes are corrected and I know what to do and what not to do, keep moving forward. Yeah, keep going, for sure, almost there.